Hello ladies, uh, it's Michelle from Scrapbook Niagara. Uh, I'm just going to go through uh, a tutorial on the, my latest kit. It's uh, from the Vintage Artistry Shore Collection from um, 49 and Market. As you all know, 49 and Market has exquisite papers and uh, especially their beach, uh, beachy. So what comes with this kit is you get the full collection pack. You get the title Sandy Toes and Sunkissed Nose from Creative Embellishments. Again, the Handmade Flowers, the Rustic Collection from 49 and Market. And then I'll give you this piece of burlap so you can uh, embellish on your page. So that's what comes with this kit. Some of the things that I used to create this kit was, um, I used a wave stencil and this one's from Heffy Doodle, but uh, Truthfully, I I wasn't that keen on it after I saw it. Um, I also used the crackle paste from Ranger, the Tim Holtz uh, Distress Crackle Paste. Um, but I do sell this this uh, bubble stencil from Creative Embellishments, and I actually think maybe this one would would have been a bit better. So <clears throat> I had already pasted because, as you know, that uh, I usually have to let the paste dry overnight and. I'm pretty particular with my um, my pasting. Uh, I must admit I love it, but I can't stand the page warping and stuff like that. So uh, generally after I paste and it dries, I give it a good spray with water and I set some heavy books or, or paper on top of it to try to flatten it back out. So once you have your pasting done, if, if you choose to do that, then um, then I distressed the edges, so I used the, um, this is one of my favorite tools from Ingild Bolm, Bolm, Bolma, I can't remember, a designer from Prima. So I distressed all the edges, um, went around and did them all. Uh, on both pages. So. This one I just trimmed a little bit smaller than, than the uh, background page that I'm going to glue it on. And uh, again, uh, I'm an eyeballer. Nothing is an exact science to me. For So I go in and I trim however much you want to see. Trim to, to, what, to what you like. Um, th that's the versatility that I, you know, I promote with my kits. Is that, you know, you can use as many pictures as you want or as many, you know, in the orientations that you want. You're not fixed to anything. It's just a, basically a, a background for you to choose what, uh, what you like and, and the pictures that you have. Because, I mean, we don't always have a portrait or I struggle all the time, you know, with the, the orientations of my pictures. So, so then uh, after you've de-stressed the corners, then, uh, of course, I'm all about uh, that vintage grungy look. So just quickly um, dust the edges. on the background so I'll just mark off kind of where I'm going to place my, my pictures so I can give some shadowing in the background with the ink. <clears throat>
Now again, uh, one of my favorite products and for scrapbooking, I don't use anything else. It's the Beacon 3-in-1, it's a quick grab, and uh, so far it's held up to the test of time. I've used other adhesives where you look back in your album and things are falling out and all. I'm a bit frustrated by, by that. So I'll just give them in a minute here or maybe I need a new bottle. Again, and sometimes, you know, I love texture. I love texture, but not too much texture. It's like a fine line for me. So, um, you know, some of the, the flowers are just gorgeous that uh, you see on some of these layouts, but I find some of them are just a, maybe if I'm gonna frame it, but some of them are just a bit too big. These ones aren't too bad. They stay, you know, they're not as big as some of the others. So yeah, I just, uh, Take my finger and kind of crease up along these edges. So then I had some um, burlap. So you just take your burlap and then I always um, well, I'll cut off that piece. But you know, it's always nice to then I rip out because I, I like to see that nice frayed edge. So I usually pull them all out and to give me that uh, frayed edge there. Yeah, definitely need a new glue. Looking at these pictures, they just make my heart melt. I had to dig back in the file to find some pictures to use because uh, no beach for us uh, this year, of course. So, 
of course in the 49 and market one of the things that makes it so wonderful is the die cuts that you get <clears throat> you get two pages of them with this kit so this is from the first uh, set of die cuts so <clears throat> I mean you can use you know as many as you want as little as you want um, again whatever uh, whatever your little heart desires <clears throat> Sorry about my glue. <laughs> I don't know where I put the new bottle I had. Now again, I like that dimension, so um, I think I'm going to put this boat up with some pop dots. <clears throat> and again, anything you see in this video uh, that you need for this kit, if you don't already have, um, you just need to let me know, send me an email or a Facebook message. I just loved, loved this little rope with the starfish. My goodness. <clears throat> So again, it's as little or, you know, as many or as little embellishments as you want from, <clears throat> you've got a ton of die cuts to choose from. I must admit for me, like, I love the mixed media layouts I do, but I find some of them get a little too busy, even for myself. Like, to me, I don't want to lose focus that, uh, you know, it's about the pictures. It is. I think it's, it's lovely to make everything else wonderful but you know I don't want to lose the main focus or the goal is is truly the pictures so <clears throat> so and this is my title and I'm going to show you how I how I did that
Okay, so thanks to the beauty of camera, you know, I, I glued the last bit on and, and the title. So here I'm going to show you how we, uh, how I did that title. So I used the Ranger Distress Grit Paste. And just on my raw title, so this was the title and it was um, quite large. Um, and don't be shy, um, you know, I just wanted the sandy toes and sun-kissed nose, so I just cut them off where I wanted them. So then just take your brush and literally, like, I, I just dabbed it on to get some texture. As thick as you want, whatever, um, again, whatever, whatever you like. So I did the whole title. And now I painted it. So I used a little bit of the, um, now you can ask me my paints, but uh, I love paints and I have <laughs> um, tons and tons of paints. So this was the Martha Stewart and this one was Acorn and this one was the Americana and a light buttermilk. So I just put on a, a wee bit. So then I did the, my first coat in brown. So acrylic doesn't usually take too long to dry. Okay, so after that first layer dries, then go back with your lighter color. And do as light as you want, as dark as you want. Again, whatever you like. Um, You just finished till, till you got what you liked. Um, so that's it. So once again, the finished kit. The uh, sandy toes. So this is, uh, again, like my title page. And um, I find uh, I'll do a title page and then I will do a second page. And that second page, um, I'll probably doing this reds here, these red colors, lots of embellishments again to, but you also have, um, you know, a couple of extra pages. So, you know, whether you're doing your, just a beach layout 
or a travel album. You've got lots of embellishments and papers to work with to finish it all. So, so like and subscribe to us on uh, YouTube and uh, come to our Facebook page, Scrapbook Niagara, to get your um, Shore Sandy Toes Beach uh, kit. Thanks for watching.